With the arrival of a brand new Andra Championship drag racing battle at Western Sydney International Dragway with the AC Delco East Coast Nationals, it represents a clean slate for drag racing's high-tech categories. Pro Stock and Pro Stock Motorcycle, two tight and tough racing classes. It's an interesting season ahead for both pro racing groups, with newly crowned Andra champs Dion Prowse in Pro Bike and John Andropoulos in Pro Stock, both non-starters in this year's championship chase. However, it would be foolish to suggest that this year's Andrew Championship chase is going to be easy. ProStock has enjoyed a growth surge in recent seasons and is one professional drag racing category that has a unique blend of established stars and fresh-faced newcomers set to take the sport by storm this season. With the departure of Prowse and former champ Daniel Petey in ProStock Motorcycle, it provides a stirring opportunity for Michael Gilbertson to reclaim the national title or for handlebar heroes Pete Cochran, Morris Allen, Jason Lee, Graham Weston or Callum Gadisi and others to nail the title. Hi everybody, we're here at the world-class Western Sydney International Dragway for some more Andra Championship Drag Racing. We've got Pro Stock and Pro Stock Motorcycle, two of the most awesome drag racing categories. Joining me today, my name is Dean Neal, is Rob Oberg. Rob, looking forward to these two particular eliminators. Oh, absolutely. The, both pro stock categories are stock appearing. They look like your family sedan, they look like a normal production motorcycle, but under the skin they are so, so high tech. Naturally aspirated, we have no fuel injection, no supercharging, no tu turbocharging, but they make immense horsepower and they are both very technical categories. Opening round of the championship for both classes and it's just going to be wide open. The defending champion in both of these classes retired after winning the title. There is no defending champions contesting this year's chase and these guys are just so keen to get at it. Pro Stock, Pro Stock Motorcycle, two of the bling categories in Andrew Championship Drag Racing. Pro stock cars are the highest development of street appearing, four seat sedans or coupes using V8 engines fitted with carburetors only in Andra Championship drag racing. A pro stock chassis is fabricated from more than 150 metres of precision chrome molly tubing due to the complexity of the chassis and roll cage designs in the category. All remaining body components are typically a combination of steel, fiberglass or carbon fibre and all bodies must conform to Andra drag racing guidelines that are based on the specifications supplied by the car manufacturer. For all that, most pro stock teams will commit to in-depth wind tunnel testing to make their racing combinations as quick and fast as possible. Cylinder head design and porting is more advanced on a pro stock engine than in any other Andra championship drag racing category. Pro stock is seen as a racing purist class with tight racing fields and extremely close racing. There is always a high emphasis on a driver's skill and reactions as he races down the quarter mile, hopefully to secure the win. It's fair to say Pro Stock has been on a growth surge over the past few seasons and Jason Grimer and his PC Cranes Ford Mustang is proud to be part of the swell of Pro Stock numbers around the country. Yeah, the category grew. Um and there's new cars out there, new drivers, and it's all exciting. Uh, we changed car as well last year. We uh, halfway through the season, we went from our Ford Probe to our new Mustang. Yeah, we um, it's been in the pipeline for a little while with the new car, and then it arrived in December, and we sat back and uh, watched how the category was going. We brought it out to boot it, and it's been okay. It's been very uh, consistent and it's fast. What about the off season? I know, as you said, you've got a new car, but any further adjustments to this combination for this season? Yeah, we've tried to do some testing, but with the rain, rain outs and all that, we haven't been able to do any testing, so we're just doing subtle changes this year. With a five-speed transmission, incredibly tight racing fields in the category, Jason Grimer knows the skill and effort he needs in his PC Cranes machine to nail the perfect pass and hopefully secure that wind light at the finish stripe. 
Yeah, it, it starts on the, you know, through the burnout. You make sure your burnout's right. And then putting the car in the stage, you make sure your stage right. You make sure you have your clutch pressed on the start line when you bring up the RPM because it wants to push your fo uh, foot off the clutch. And then uh, launch at the right time as well so you don't uh, leave late. And then go through all the gear shifts at the right time. After securing Andrew Championships in the ultra tough heads up racing in Supergas, the natural progression for Queenslander Dave Newcomb was a big jump to the bump and shove racing that is pro stock for a full on crack at the title. Ever since I got into drag racing, I always, you know, I always loved pro stock, naturally aspirated uh, vehicles. And um, yeah, as it come down the line, I've seen Castrol and Brisbane Izuzu and um, they came up with some money and said, we'll go give it a crack. So we're putting 120% in and hopefully we can do them proud. You know, it's a driver's class for sure. I mean, you know, you've got five gears by half track. You're telling me though this engine's sort of like your training wheels and you're going to step it up at the Nationals at Willowbank, is that right? Yeah, that's right. I've got um, John Barbagallo from North Queensland. He's doing all the uh, engine work for me and um, he was nice enough to lend me this engine so I could uh, get my teeth around it and cut a few laps, so yeah. There is no question you could success by the sportsman ranks as part of the Rocket All-Stars Drag Racing Series has served him in good stead and understands fully what he needs to achieve in pro stock combat. One thing I learnt in Supergas, the fastest doesn't win, it's the most consistent, so yeah, hopefully we'll uh, pull it all together. Well, like anything, like everybody, we all want to be the Australian champion and uh, do our sponsors and families proud, so yeah. Family owned business, um, Village Holden up in Queensland, Brisbane Isuzu, Australia's number one Isuzu dealer, and uh, Castrol Australia. He might be softly spoken and almost bashful at times, however Aaron Tremaine is not so hush-hush at the prospects of bettering the national record at the Andrew Championship opener in Sydney and getting his Aqualine Pool sponsored entry off to a fast start for the season. You know, I think these cars, you know, in, in these sort of conditions, if you games, if, if we had a really good track, we, should, we, you know, we could break it by a fair bit. Talk about the family. Obviously, a, a two-car commitment. You guys must love Pro Stock, and why do you love the bracket so much? Been brought up with naturally aspirated motors my whole life. You know, not really too much into blown cars, and I just, I've always liked Pro Stocks. I like the idea of five years and a short amount of time, and. Yeah, how close the race is mainly. What about this weekend at the AC Delco East Coast Nationals? Are you confident winning the event? Uh, honestly, depend depending on the track. Um, some of the guys are a little bit less horsepower, for, you know, if the track goes off at night because it gets pretty cold here. If the track goes off, the guys are a little bit less horsepower, you know, you seem to get down the track easier. So, you know, it's harder for us us, us guys. Just that little bit more power makes, it, makes a bit of difference to get down there. So we'll just have to take it as it comes, I suppose. Stick around because after the break we move into pro stock motorcycle action. The handlebar heroes head to head.